Now well, they're maybe slightly faster. You got slightly more tank destroyers. Tank destroyers don't really do that well on this map in general. Uh, Tiger two. We've got a bad M12. You can play this northwest over here. You can also play this side of the town over here. Either or. You can play low town as well if you want. This, those are like the three acceptable positions. Hopefully you don't get too many of your mediums that camping. You do want to get under underneath this hill as quickly as possible, though, because that minimizes the artillery. Whoa, the 416. You can go up a little bit higher on this hill to your left and get shot to get another shot on that 416. Although it looks like this 3001 will come around and let you shoot him anyways. What you want to do is you want to sit a little bit further back because where you're at, artillery can still hit you. You can also move forward, and this is slightly okay. You probably wanted to just aim that shot. You've got plenty of time right now, you're not too worried. You're also doing that mid-range thing where uh, you're auto-aiming from, from that distance. Which, auto-aim is fine, but see see how you can potentially auto-bounce, because it, it's if the shot strays a little bit high of center there, um, you could have hit his hull at an auto-bounce angle. You can shoot the corner of this JP2, like zoom in right there. You can shoot that corner. No, no, no. You don't need to shoot the hull. You can shoot just next to the gun and, and you'll damage him just fine. You're giving him too big of a window to shoot you right now, although he didn't, which is nice. He's completely running away, which is fine. You still need to be careful of pushing around this particular side, especially if they've got um, uh, American tanks. It's a trap. So you're actually better off, instead of pushing around this side, diverting, coming back around over here. It's going to be difficult for you to beat a hull down T-34, and that's really what it'll amount to, trying to go over that hill against that T-34. You're better off coming over to this side of the hill and then jumping over on this guy over here or coming all the way around over on this side and, and doing the same. Because like when you look at their dispersion, they've got the highest concentration in their tanks right here, but these guys are split, right? There's two on this side and two over here. They can't really support each other if you come over on this like KP-4, for example. Wait for him to commit, push forward a little bit, or shoot like that. It's a trap. You have side turret shot there that, that would have been better, would have exposed you less. You're giving him a side profile right now as well, so if he turns, he's going to be able to get a, a reasonable shot on you. So it's fine, you still should come around on this side, see if you can split through here. Unfortunately, you've got your mediums up over on this side. You're kind of driving into a flank a little bit right now, see how this type is over here? He's going to make things difficult for you. You ideally want to come over on this side of this church and maybe take out that type first if you can. Right, these guys are going to be difficult to root out because you're not getting any pressure from this other side. It's a trap! Yeah, the FCM also shouldn't have been playing over there. Like, once you clear out to this area, that was perfectly fine. Take your victory and then go and, and find someplace else that's advantageous. Don't push into an, an open area like that where they can just tee off on your team. You have a shot there. It's through that pillar. Well, alright. Now you definitely have a shot because he's running it's a away. Trap. Yeah. 
you could have aimed that shot, but that's fine. You can still take out the IS-6. He's, he's turning towards your super person. See how you're driving towards your, your super person? You want to drive away from him. See where your T-34-3 is going around that side of the hill? The, the hill? That's where you want to go. And then you, you don't need to take this this their super person on frontally. He's giving you side turret. See how your T-34-3 went through. Good shot. That was a good shot. And then you can just play one twos with him. You know Artie is, sh is shooting into your area. The, the super pershing, I'm sorry, the T-34-3 has the super pershing. You don't need to continue out there. Although I guess he got killed by the T-34, so maybe he doesn't. Take your time, get a good shot. You could have stopped. That would have been fine. Just get Artie safe. Lol, lucky. So you need these guys to push you now. This T—you don't want to drive out he over here because this T34 is gonna have a hold down on you. That's really, oh, I guess he moved down, so it doesn't really matter. Lol. And then right there, see how he's a little bit behind a wreck or some sort of. Oh well, campers. Lol, JP. JP2 at that. Yeah, uh, so I thought you did really well up here on, on this side. You did a good job of, of, of doing damage. Um, you did not push around the side, which is good. You, you don't want to do that in that particular situation. That T-34 was there. Uh, when you came back over on this side, you kind of drove into a flank here, even though they didn't take advantage of it. You probably would have been better setting up, setting up a little bit further south in town, especially once you saw your guys dying over here. At some point, you need to determine whether you're going to win that side or not, and then just sort of get a small profile and then you probably could have been a little bit more efficient in killing their their type 59 uh, in terms of you didn't have to drive across that open area to get this, the exact same shots as, as somebody else um, and then you drove towards your super pershing when you should have driven away from him to get a, a, a better angle there Uh, it would have been nice if you had the JP2 up there as well, certainly, but them's, them's how the puppies play. And so these are the stats. Did I actually bring that up? Yeah. Um, yeah. JP2 ended up farming 2.6k damage. He's like, I did my share. Just people don't understand how bad camping hurts your team. But yeah, it, that's unfortunate. I mean, you did a good job of being efficient with your shots for the most part, which is good. Um, from a technical perspective, I, I think you had the same uh, to, to a less of an extent than... Uh, who was it? Quan, I think, uh, in, in the Bulldog, where from that medium range... Uh, you can auto-aim, but do the sniper zoom as well so that you can make sure that the auto aim is going someplace useful and it's not going someplace where it's going to uh, cause a zero damage or shoot under the tank or something like that. Um, and again, from the close range, auto aim is really good. From the medium range, eh, it's, it's really dependent on the, on the situation. So you kind of have to baby it uh, from that perspective. But good game, nice try. Well, I mean, you still almost could have pulled that out in that, that high town, but it would have been uh, it would have been tough. You would have it would have been nice if that T thirty four had taken another shot or two of damage before uh, he got to you.
Uh, no, you, sh you guys should have heard Max L back in the day. Oh, well, I've heard he's I've heard he's mellowed out a lot. All right, anyhow, uh, Patton, Lakeville. You have a lighter comp. This is actually going to be a tough game because you're going to struggle to to win in the city. You should still go to the city side though. Like I know a lot of mediums like playing this middle, but you're kind of at the mercy of what your team does because if your team loses the city, the middle becomes a really really bad place to be. And usually puppies don't send enough to the city anyways. Looks like you're sending a good amount of your team to the city, which is good. You want to push forward just a little bit, like another five meters to your to your left. Uh, that'll allow you to uh, get better spots. You don't actually need to go much further forward, depending on. It doesn't look like you have optics, uh, which is unfortunate. But you should always have optics on on medium tanks if you can help it. That was a nice shot. And the fact that you did not get lit means that they might not have much else out here. You, you should stay out there uh, until you get lit. You really need optics in order to, to play that really effectively. You, you really don't have any idea what else they, they might have sent out that way, unfortunately. I'm not sure what setup you have on here, but you can probably, if you don't want to drop your stabilizer, you can drop your vents for, for optics. And then you're being, see how you're cutting across all the way out to this A line? You were just in this middle and nobody spotted you. If nobody spotted you uh, when you were right here, nobody's going to spot you right here. So it looks like they're, they're going hard valley. Uh, so what you want to be able to do is you want to clear this out quickly. Tell your guys to get out of the base, right? Clear this out quickly and then you can just farm them as they come on the cap. See, what you don't need to do, you don't need to drive to the valley. You don't need to go over here and and defend. You can defend the, the cap from back here, like, really easily. So there, there's no really need for you to, to drive up there. Um, ideally, it looks like you're trading pretty poorly in the city, though, so you're kind of punked either way. It's a trap! And you definitely don't want to be caught in this no man's land, right? Halfway there, halfway out, because then artillery can shoot you and all, all sorts of bad things can happen. You are going to lose this rear eventually though, so you need to, to be aware of that. You've got, see how you got a bunch of guys in that no man's land? They're, they can't really do anything useful on either side. So the, the idea is that you've got three tanks there, but you've got like five tanks over here. You've got mo the majority of your team on this side. You're eventually going to have to win this side if you want to have a chance. And it's probably the biggest threat is going to be that Roomba there. You're struggling on this hill a little bit when you can just drive around it and uh, get to him. Nice FP. You need to help out your T-37 here like as soon as possible. He's coming towards you, your T-37 is coming towards you, so you want to make yourself small for a second and then... That was a good track. You've lost the back, it's only a matter of time. You still need to kill this STI, I wouldn't worry about these guys yet, because they're already in the best position they can, can be, which is where this T-34-3 is. It's a trap! Hopefully your artillery does not shoot you in the back of the head. 
So they're already in the best position. So you need them to drive up over that ridge. So you need to try to push this STI. It's a trap. So you might as well push back towards the STI because you're just going to be able to get shot by the, these other guys. Yeah, if you if you got if you had focused more on this STI earlier, that might have made the difference. But you, I, I think you're you weren't going to get good shots on these guys. You can't like once they get to right here, you're not going to get good shots. You actually need them to push over onto this before you'll actually get anything useful. It's a trap! Kill the T-34-3. You, you're gonna reload before him. See how, like, you were still aiming while you were reloaded? You're probably gonna reload before the ISA, so you can go to the left. I mean, Artie, Artie can still shoot you, but you're kind of pumped either way. A uh, little bit shot inefficiency uh, issue. So, I mean, I thought positionally, tactically, uh, you played that fairly well. Um, you pushed down the middle here at the start, which uh, I'm not really much of a fan of that in medium play, but it, but it worked out for you. It's fine. You didn't have optics, though, so you couldn't really spot that far. You didn't go quite far enough to... Knowing that you don't have optics, you need to drive out a little bit further than, than you did to actually spot anything here. And then you left, uh, once you left that was fine, uh, you came over this A line, there's this long period of time from between when you shot that IS-8 when he was right here, and when you get, you know, got your next shot of damage, it was like three minutes later, and like in that time you drove all the way up here, all the way over here, and you drove all the way back over here, and then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you drove all the way back to like this 4-5 line, uh, and then you cut down south, and then you cut west, and then you got uh, a, a shot in. Um, so I, I, this cap is really defendable, just like this cap is really defendable. So the reason why valley rushes don't work is, is twofold. One, because if you commit enough guys to the valley, then you just don't have enough to hold the city. And so if you see a lot of guys in the valley, that's usually a sign that you can push through city fairly easily. Um, and the valley is really slow to push through. The other reason why valley rushes don't work is that because it's really, 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 really easy to good defend this cap. Because all you have to do is sit back here have an already have your arties anywhere back here, right? And you can get continuous resets on the cap. There, there's it's almost impossible to, to cap out if there if you have if you're established over here. There's a number of bushes over here that you can spot the cap from, um, uh, like around uh, uh, these rocks right here, this rock right there, and this rock right there, um, that you can spot through. That you just move forward and spot the cap, move back th 
through, shoot through them to shoot to reset guys on the cap and also light for artillery. And if you really need to, you can drive up to this fine line where that T-34-3 was playing to, to light the cap and, and do resets from there as well from a hold down position. Uh, so it's really easy to defend the cap. So you don't really need to be up where you and that IS-2 and, and all of your team ended up driving. If they win the valley, let them push through in the cap. Let them, you know, give them enough rope to hang themselves. Um, and, and just you need to make sure that your city holds long enough so that you can kill them. Um, I felt like you could have pushed through that city area at, at some point or at least explored it a little bit more more thoroughly rather than driving back. Um, whenever you're fighting close range in a medium tank like that, even though tactically you played well, um, you put yourself in a bad position because you're fighting close range in a medium tank against heavies and, and tank destroyers. That's not really what you what you want to do. You want to be either a flanking force or you want you know to to, to be shooting them from a, from a longer distance, particularly on, the, on, the, on this map, I think. And so if we look at the stats... Of zeros from higher tier tanks down here, two, three eights, and a nine, all doing zero damage. Not not good sign. I think most of those guys were were on that town side as well. Their team really didn't do anything that they didn't have any one person that did anything exceptional, which you kind of expect from a from a valley rush. I mean, if you go valley, it's not because you're really experienced in the game. Um, I, I think you guys just caught it poorly and you didn't do well enough, not you personally, but your team didn't do well enough in town to, to justify the number of, of tanks that they sent there. But you did pretty well. Um, I thought you were, were relatively efficient on your shots. I just think um, strategically you didn't need to, to push towards that valley, um, but live and learn. Or die and learn, I guess is the case maybe. GG, nice try.